Hi guys, what's going on? It's me, a friend, and this video that you are watching right now is actually whoa, whoa, gonna whoa, be whoa. the I first. Was, whoa, whoa. I thought this was my loot video. This is my loot video. Right? This is my video now. Oh, stop me! Hello everybody, welcome back to another R short vid. I'm your host, Leo Torres. Now today, we're gonna do a loot from 20 hours of raids. Now, if you don't know what raids are, it's pretty much the new high level uh, PVM that was introduced to RuneScape recently. And it pretty much consists of two bosses, Beastmaster Durzak and Yakamaru. Now, these bosses aren't too hard, more or less because, you know, they require you to have experience from like Calphite King, Araxor, and Virago to actually defeat them. So getting my first kill wasn't too hard. Maybe took me about two hours to get both Beastmaster and Yakamaru. So it wasn't too hard. However, the looting system for these bosses is kind of a little effed up uh, because you can only loot every two days, which they need to fix. Uh, they should definitely make it so you can actually receive pieces every two days and still be able to loot regularly. Uh, but hey, you know, we'll, we'll try to see if we can get them to push that. But uh, let's also note that during this loot, there was actually a buff in the uh, actual rewards. So it got increased about a week later after it came out. So that might make the loot a little iffy. But nonetheless, uh, here is our loot from 20 hours of raids. All right, so let's bring up our price shaker here really quick. Um, so note that with raids, there also came a new currency, which is called Techie or Tessie or whatever. Uh, that you can use to buy the regular versions of the tier 90 tank armor. Um, there's a regular and an elite. Elite you actually have to get as a drop. Um, but that's okay. Um, you can use the, the currency to buy abilities and whatnot. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But your main drops come from Water Talisman, Battle Staffs, Black Dehyde, and Rune Plate. Those usually are the ones that cost the most out of this uh, loot. Um, but yeah, I did receive an ability Codex, which you can get as a drop. Um, I got it like within the first four days, I think. And that sold for about 115 mil. Now, during the time of this recording right now, I think it sells for about 50 mil, and it'll probably keep going down to around 20 or 30 mil. But yeah, I thought it was pretty cool that I got it really early on. Um, so all together with all our loot and the ability, we made about 145 mil. Now, in 20 hours, that averages around uh, 7.2 mil an hour. But sadly, I have yet to receive any of the armor pieces, but that's okay because we're going to keep pushing forward. Um, we'll most likely do a loot from 50 hours and a loot from 100 hours. So subscribe because those will eventually come soon if you want to see those. Um, also, if you're struggling trying to find a team for raids, uh, here's a couple French chats that I use just in case, uh, you know, my clan doesn't have anything running. Um, they are pretty good. Just make sure you throw in your application and they'll accept you if you're, you know, qualified for it and you can get to raiding, get your kills and you, you'll be on your way. Um, well, that's pretty much uh, it for this video. You know, raids is actually pretty fun. Hopefully they fix the looting system. Um, I really don't have much else to say, guys. So thank you very much. I'll see you guys later.